Store Manager for Press the Shop allows importing products quickly and easily. This video will show you how to import a sample file, all attributes, images, downloadable files, and other data. You can also try Press the Shop import with me. Simply download Store Manager for Press the Shop free trial and follow my steps. Find the link in the description below. Let's start import overview with a quick file check. I prepared a CSV file that contains such columns as reference, product name, price, status, quantity, category, and product images. In case your file looks different, send it to me in comments and I'll check it for you. You can request the same file from your supplier or dropshipper. Before we get to the point, I would like to show you my test store that I will work with today. It is empty now. No products yet. Also here is my admin panel, same as true here. Also, it is worth mentioning that it is recommended to make a database backup before import or any other mass operation. Now let's run the products import. You can find it in the categories and products section in the top menu. Here you can choose between import and export. I'll go through import now. On the first step, select the file to import. Files can be imported from the local computer, link, FTP, and Google Sheets. I have my file on the desktop, so I will choose an option to import the file from the local computer. The next step refers to delimiters and quotes. Those are characters used in the file to separate columns and values. In most cases, files are separated with a comma or a semicolon. You can specify any of them and check if the file is shown correctly below. If incorrect delimiters are selected, the data is messed here. No tables or columns. Text looks like a string rather than a table. I'll switch back to the correct delimiter. One more option worth mentioning is the first row in CSV contains field names but not values. If your file does not contain column names, uncheck this option. The next option is for the category path value. In case your file contains breadcrumb as a category tree with a slash between parent and subcategory, specify the slash symbol here. You should check your file before you proceed and find the category column to find what is yours. Also, you can find settings for image upload here. Select the local image path if you have your images saved locally. In case you have a link to your images in the file, just enable the first option, import images. No more settings should be done additionally on this step. If you're updating products with images, use a skip image option to avoid image duplicates. If you want to import downloadable files for virtual products or attachments, select corresponding checkboxes and specify the path to the files. Now all is set on this step. Let's go to the next step now. This step stands for date and time formats. They can be set as default, no need to update them. So we are ready to go to the next step, data mapping. Here you need to map columns from the file to the appropriate press the shop fields. In case you have names that are somewhat related to the press the shop names, the mapping will be done automatically. Also, you can click auto fill to map columns. Fields that are mapped automatically are black and have CSV columns set here. Click on the field and you will see to which column it is assigned on the right pane. In case you can see that some columns are not mapped or you would like to map them to other CSV columns, simply select the press the shop field on the left and click a corresponding column from your CSV file on the right. Here is how you can assign columns manually. One more column is set. Do not forget to assign required columns. In case some data that is required for press the shop is missing and still it is not required for import, store manager will do its best to fill it on its own. The most important field worth mentioning here is the reference. This basically is your model or unique part number. It is recommended to set it unique to be able to update your products correctly. Also, I should mention that if you leave the field with quantity unassigned, the store manager will set the value to zero. Also, any rules can be applied on this step. For example, increase the price by 20% or add your brand name to the product name. 
If you have any custom rules to be applied, write to me in the comments section. I will do my best to assist you. I have all fields set. Let's move forward to product identification. So in my file, I have a reference and product name. I would recommend using reference and product name as identification. This is the best option if you already have some of your products in your Presta Shop inventory already and you would like to update them and add new ones. Identification is also important if you're importing combinations, product accessories, and specific prices for combinations. If you select the Regenerate Product Combinations option, you will get the newly created product combinations with prices, quantities, and other combination data. We're done with the most complicated part. Let's move forward. Here you can see the import preview. Check whether all columns that you want to import are filled with data. If some columns are blank, this means that they are empty in the source file. At this step, you can also select specific rows to import. This feature is useful if you have a large file and you would like to split it into parts without having to manually open the file. To import the whole file, leave default values. I will keep them as is. So now here it goes, the last but not least step. Import methods. What are those used for? If you're importing new products, you can use the Just Add option. This will speed up the import process greatly. It is quite useful for large files with millions of items. If you have a large file, ask the support team for assistance. They will provide you with some tips that will greatly speed up the process. If you need to update existing products only and skip importing of new items, use Modify only. This option is often used for large files as well. This way you can update inventory, for example, without having to load all image files or update descriptions, thus decreasing time and server load for data update. Only add is used to import only new products. It is used to add new items and add all data required for the new products to be created correctly, including description, images, categories, and others. Add and modify is performing best for small files that should not be optimized and can be imported as is. Also, you can choose how to handle the products that are not listed in the import file, delete products and combinations, set their quantity to zero, or disable existing products. This option is helpful if your supplier or vendor provides a CSV file with available products only. One more important option worth mentioning is import products with missing identifiers. Those products will need your attention after import, still you will have all inventory imported. Also. Here you can delete some data or create attributes, features, and feature values in the go. If you do not have categories in your file, or if you want to skip the structure provided by the supplier, you can put them into some category, like what's new or something like that. Also, if you have any rules on how to map products to categories, contact eMagic1 support for assistance. Now let's select the shops where data will be imported. If you have only one shop, you will not see this option. Finally, you can specify where to save the import log file and import configuration. When you're all set, hit the import button and the process will go. If you have a few thousand items, you can go have some coffee. My file is not big, so I can check results instantly. So I have added new products and those are ready to be checked on the live site. Let's go to my newly imported products. Here you can see the products that I've imported with the Store Manager application. Now let's go to the Admin panel. Here you can find the same products available. Finally, let's check one of the products on the front end. Here it goes. Hope this video was helpful and you could proceed with import along with me. In case of any questions, please add your comments below and I will gladly answer them or contact eMagic1 support for assistance.